Oh, he's weaving along the straight. Not too much damage done. Bit of front wing going in. Here, there, everywhere. And off they go to the first corner. Oh, Ricardo's having a moment. Oh, he's forcing straight into the path. And Lando spins. It's happened to Lando. Oh, no, he spun right into the Ferrari. That looked better, to be honest, when I was playing. Than it actually turned out to be in the replay. He didn't really take many people with him. And he's in P3. Chasing Alex Albon. He's missing half a front wing, it seems. Taking a bit of a shortcut there. And he's gone right side by side with Al Albon. And they almost touch. They so nearly touch. And now they touch. Albon's out. There goes the wheel. Alex Albon is out of the race. Well, his luck turns around recently with a win in Azerbaijan, I believe. And his luck has gone straight back to its normal measure this race. And uh, what is just slowing down? I wonder why. Well, two Mercedes are coming. Oh! What happened there? He's, oh, and he and Lewis Hamilton are fighting into the pit lane. Oh! And Lewis Hamilton's front wing is already pitted. But he will definitely use a new front wing. And Lewis has to wait by Bottas. Other cars coming in the pits. Grosjean being one of them. Here they come. seconds to catch up on. Considering he's about that much quicker than the bat markers in quali, he should make up that rather quickly. And he's going very quickly. Look at this. And here he is, right at the end of the lap, and he's caught up. Nicholas Satifi is the first target. That's a bit right. Oh, Satifi is in the wall. There goes the Williams from the back. There he goes. He's in it already bad enough. He had laughs at the guy who's not a bit as he is now. Front wing less than what you shouldn't expect to be a problem. Passing his teammate, Nikita Massapin. There we go. He's through. That's a bit out of luck. No. Subservient to his teammate. And Magnussen now is next. And Magnussen loses a bit of front wing. I think Wood now is taking cars out so that's a bit can get up into the points as well. Giovinazzi now is the next one. He goes wide. This is Giovinazzi. But he gets him that time. Oh, the Alfa Romeo is out in some style. the next unlucky target, that's a bit moving his way up. This here now is for P10. So the two carnage drivers of P11 and P12. No point at the moment. And Wood does have the fastest lap after that great lap, the previous lap. And him and Russell, oh no, Russell! Russell, oh I think he's out. And we can't quite get a replay of that. But it looks like George Russell unfortunately retired from the race there. Just having it confirmed, he has retired. His wheel did come off when he hit the wall. Next up, Wood is now in the points. Esteban O'Connor, Kimi Raikkonen, who lay ahead of him. No front wing now, so 
turn of the steering is very difficult. But he is catching up with Esteban Ocon. And he's very unorthodox lines. Will he make the move? Oh, he's going for it! Oh, and off goes a bit of Ocon's front wing. It did happen. We should get Mats a bit up into the points. I wonder if one is happier there. He's off all of his front wing now. I believe. Yes, there it is. None left. Oh, and there goes Ocon. Ocon's still in the race. But he has been overtaken by Mats Pen. Ocon now is holding up Bottas. Now can Wood catch Raikkonen? I'll give you a spoiler. He can't. Lack of front wing ends up being decisive. But what Wood does do in this race is he manages to finish P9 on track. And although he had 11 second penalties, the gap to Valtteri Bottas in P11 was 12 seconds. Which means Matsubin got two points for the Carnage team. And Wood also got two points for the 10th place finish and the fastest lap. Let's have a look at what that did. So Charles Leclerc takes a leap forward in the title race. Seb Vettel in third, Ferrari, big day for them. They can comfortably top the constructors. Carlos Sainz second, good day for Alfa Tori. Max Verstappen with points. Kimi managed P8 despite a penalty. The Carnage team ended up with some points. And you see Russell did retire, Giovinazzi, Albon. Also out Ocon, Latifi had to pit. So did Magnussen, and of course Ricardo, Grosjean, Norris, Hamilton, Perez, Bottas pitted after the lap one shenanigans. There's the standards, it's 20 points different. Carlos Sainz coming into it. Vettel, Gasly having decent seasons. Maybe have to target different drivers. Giovinazzi out of that race, and bottom. Russell too. So when it rains, it pours. Constructors Ferrari comfortably ahead. Carnage holding on to second. Alfa Tori moving right up the order, with there only being 22, well, 24 points from ninth to third. So I'm going to take you through the season so far a little bit on the chart. Let's see where we end up now. Probably get an interview and the lady bagging on about how awful we've been. Good day today. Looking to regain it. You lost your team yesterday. Was it just not? Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. I do it just to see the smiles on their faces. Ah, oh, how sweet. Great. Well, that's everything. So back to the studio. I believe the next race is Austria. Sev Vettel got the edge on me that race. We did get our bonuses. Somehow. Car development's been slow. We keep having failures. I think we're coming up to teammate renewal point. So I'd like to keep back to Ben. I've got my eye on, you know, as Carnage F1, the dream is Roman Grosjean, of course. That is the dream. But at this point of the career, I cannot afford a Roman Grosjean. So a Nikita Matsupin renewal is probably the way I'm going to go. Yeah, Austria next. Oh, not much time. Let's give Nikita a bit of simulator training. I don't know why corporates come up. Contracts, isn't it? No, his contract does go until the next race. Says the market. We're keeping an eye on Grosjean, Kvyat, Magnussen, all of drivers that we think would fit the philosophy of this team. So we do have a fair amount in the bank. 
We look at the, here's the season results so far. Look, so we've had fast start every race. Leclerc is up to four wins. We've only got the two, so that's where he's getting ahead. I'm targeting the Mercedes a lot. So maybe I need to concentrate on Ferrari a little bit now. Vettel had a poor start of the season, but three P2. Sainz has been podium a bit lately. The worst luck, well, Giovinazzi's had one points finish. Uh, most DNFs, Magnussen and Kvyat on three. I think that's as unlucky as it's got, though. Grosjean's got three, and he's scored some points. So I could be doing better, to be honest. In terms of R&D, well, we're falling behind a little bit. We have got points to use. And we will be using them. So yeah, that's Carnage F1. Join me next time for the Austrian.